What's up guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon TCG. Today we're back playing Expanded Tournament. Uh, with the, the, as we talked about, the Rebel Clash series is now, or the Rebel Clash expansion is now legal for tournament, tournament to play. Uh, which is kind of what we're going to be playing here with today. I'm going to throw uh, Blastoise and Flip Flop in here just for a second. I don't know if I'm going to use them. Uh, so really why my splash deck shines now uh, is the VMAXs that I have in here. My Inteleon V and its VMAX 3 energy it can do 160 damage while dealing 60 damage to one of the benched opponent's Pokemon. I also have Lapras V and his V and Lapras's VMAX, uh, which has the uh, wow, he's getting set up real fast. Uh, Lapras VMAX uh, 3 energy and it'll do a base of 90 damage plus 30 for each water energy. There's Lapras right there. So we can actually pull, we're actually gonna go ahead and start setting up uh for lapras v max because we do have the uh the evolution instance here i'm okay tanking taking a loss here uh because we can set up the lapras v uh and the v max right here and hopefully hopefully uh shoot okay i hate this i hate this deck that we're currently playing against right here because anytime they start doing this bs with the with the sky field and these shamans and this ta i i've i've played against this deck before and i hate it Although I, I've I, mostly because the the dude's turn the I've played against the deck recently where their first turn took like three minutes because they just kept pulling cards down so they got like ten cards left in their deck and then they just immediately murdered all of my cards. Uh, search your deck for a, uh, a three years. Both my revealed it and put it into your hand. If they pull Shaman, I don't think Sh Nope. Oh, oh, cool. Cool. All right, so we got uh, Snorlax V Max out in play uh, with two energy on it. Of course, we're gonna go set up and draw more cards. The, honestly, the Shaman EX and just drawing up to six cards is insane. What is this Ditto Prism though? Once during your turn, you may put any stage one card from your hand onto this Pokemon to evolve it. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. <laughs> well, cause, oh, what is this? This tag does 30 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. That, yeah, that, that kind of, that kind of sucks there, my dude. Uh, I don't have any, uh, anything discard and I don't need rare candy. I, I don't need either of those things. Wow. Okay. So he immediately got a set up here. Also, our Inteleon V is in our... Oh, no, it's back here. Okay, I was about to say, don't tell me my Inteleon V is over in our prizes. But even with this setup here, I, I don't think it's enough. I don't think having Lapras V ready to go is enough with everything that they just did in their first round here. Because what was this this card they had? This card is to be, can only be attached to Evolution. If this card is attached to discard at the end of this turn, this card provides three energy while attached to an Evolution Pokemon. That's insane. And he pulls out my... Yep, wow. So we're done. We're done here at this point. There's we're not winning this. It blows. I don't think I even need the verse seeker. Because I don't think I've used anything that would help. Uh throw you in. Try and heal you. I'm sure like this is the kind of person that like the only cards in their hand are uh which is really smart. It's really smart. This is why I like. I want to get into expanded like tournaments play, but like I never see these decks when I'm, I'm playing normal. Like to this degree. Like look at all the Pokemon they have on there. I don't know how we got lucky and we tanked that hit there. Honestly. This is just absolutely insane. Like, it's amazing to watch these types of decks play. This video probably isn't coming out. This, is, this isn't coming out on Thursday like I originally said it was. So if you ever see this video, I, I don't know why, but my gosh. Like, these types of decks are insane. What is that like? Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw a number of cards equal to your number of benched Pokemon. 
And this is why we can't win win expanded play because these people have been working on these decks for years, and it's it, it's amazing. Like I'm not like, oh, why do you have a better deck than me? It's like no, this this is. This is the way people like play Pokemon, and it's much more impressive than the way that I play Pokemon. Oh my gosh, like it's insane, absolutely insane. Our only hope here is that they make a mistake and they accidentally draw the cards. That's actually the only way we win here. It'd be hilarious if that was the way that we won though. Uh, let's throw that onto you. Uh, let's see what airmail you got for me. Ah, uh, just energy, I'll take it. I'll take it, and we'll heal you. It's like, please let me hit you once. Oh, please, oh, please, won't you hit? let me hit you once? But what they're going to end up pull pulling here is the same thing that they pulled. Over. I'm sure, like, this, like, they're, the type of energy that they have, switch one of your opponents. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is this is GG for us. This ends it. This ends it right here. It's, it's not well played. It's not well played. I didn't do anything. You have an OP deck that I I couldn't hope to beat. And what's insane though is because like I've, I've jumped into some of these before, and I, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video, but I've jumped into some of these before, and like that is what has killed me. And they don't even win the tournament because if they would have just been like unlucky, it sucks because I just want to I just want to play expand the tournaments because. I, and like this person over here, probably the same thing. They just get so freaking lucky. I hate it because I, I just want to play cool tournaments. That's all I want to do is play cool tournaments. Maybe we can jump into another tournament and actually, that's what we could do here. This that's that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll we'll jump into a second tournament and see what happens. Now let's try it again. Let's see if we can make it past. Okay, this person has a standard deck box. That makes that makes me think we might have a chance here. We might be able to play against someone who, just like me, is new to the world of Expanded. If you guys have stuck with me through- okay, well. Uh... Guess we'll throw- uh, so we can able to throw, uh, Squirtle there. Hopefully if we- if we could- We could- we could end up pulling some cool things here. If- if they have to pull a couple mulligans here, uh, they pull two mulligans. That's pretty solid, so we at least get two free cards. Uh, of course I'm gonna pull two free cards. All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, sweet, right off the bat, town map. Let's see what we got in here. All right, good to think about this. Blastoise isn't gonna happen without a, uh, without pulling a rare candy. That's fine, because we're about to, we're about to Cynthia this all away anyway. So that on to you. We could, if we get set up fast enough here, if we get set up fast enough here before they, are, if RNG is with us. We could win round one. Ah, uh, what is this energy that you put on here? Uh, as long as it's attached to Pokemon, it provides normal energy when uh, you attach this card from your hand, search for basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench. Okay, 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 okay. Well, that blows. That really, really blows. Uh, we'll put the second energy onto you. We're just confused here. Uh, let's see what we pull out here. Okay, we pulled Lapras VMAX right back into our hand. But we did pull a we did pull a dive ball though, uh, so we could pull I don't know. We have V Max already sitting there, and, and Talion V Max, in my opinion, is, is a stronger Pokemon. But we'll, we'll pull Lapras V. We'll pull Lapras V here. We'll throw you there. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to my Muscle Band because I don't know who I want to throw it onto yet. I don't know if I. It, it depends on how well uh, Suicune does here. Honestly. If nothing happens and they aren't able to set up any of their evolutions here, Suicune can take these guys. What do, okay, what do we got here? With Zorak GX, 210 HP. This attack does 20 damage for each of each of your Pokemon in play. So right now it only does 40 damage unless they set something up here. Oh, they went with a discard. Shoot, they really didn't have anything in their hand. That just allows them to draw two cards, so nothing, nothing too terrible. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I always like leaning to the side here. Oh shoot, what's your ability? Uh, you can discard a card from your hand if you do draw two cards. And they discarded energy, so they, they must have an energy heavy deck or retrievals that they can do. Tether punch keeps not. If I could pull, not what else open for there. We're gonna go ahead and evolve you here. I need to use Cynthia. I need to use Cynthia, so I do need to decide who this muscle band is going on to. I think we'll throw it onto Lapras VMAX just for funsies here. Alright, well, 
put you on to you. We'll hold on to our field blower for now until we see what happens here. Uh, I don't know if I want to put Blastoise and Piplop out there just yet. Let's actually see what airmail I can get here. And Teleon V, cool. Throw you there. Uh, do I have two? I do have two Cynthia's in there. So let's go ahead and throw both of them back into our hand. And we can also evolution and grab that in a second here. Uh, we aren't getting any, we aren't getting lucky with energy though. How much energy do we have in here? We only have two, two energy in our prize pool. So hopefully we'll pull it next time where Professor's Letter would be helpful. Because we can't even attack right now. Like we can't even like flip a coin and see if we get an attack off. Because at this point I might be willing to flip a coin and try and get an attack off. Or we, we let uh, Suicune die as we set up Inteleon or Labrys. Honestly, uh, I think Inteleon V is stronger, or VMAX is stronger, because there's 160 damage while dealing 60 damage, so I can, you know, hit Spinda and also deal 60 damage to Spinda, and then he throws Zorak in, hit Spinda, and then knock out his other Spinda. Uh, and we'll field blow before we even fight this guy and get rid of this lucky helmet here. And that's what I'm thinking. That's that's what I'm thinking right now. It just depends on what cards we come into play. Ooh, who's he gonna pay? Who's he gonna force out? Ooh, okay. Interesting play. Interesting play here. What did you discard there? Search your deck for uh, metal Pokemon reveal and put it into your hand. I mean, I'm fine with that. What's your retreat? Your retreat cost is three. Uh, let's see what we can airmail before we make any decisions here. Evolution Incense or Blastoise EX. We'll grab Evolution Incense. Not that we don't need it, but we'll grab it anyways. Uh, we'll go and grab VMAX here. Like, Suicune is ready to party right now. Just this guy's in my way here. Honestly? I think I... I think I... I'll put the energy onto you. That's what we're gonna do here, because we, we can we can make Suicune his ability, we can throw him back into our deck with those two energy on him and free up the space there if we want to put Piplop and Blastoise up there, which I don't really see why I want to. Ninja Boy, choose one of your basic Pokemon and place search your deck for a basic Pokemon and switch it with that Pokemon. Oh shoot. Okay, he pulled Melton out. Uh search your deck for a melt and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Oh, and then he immediately evolved it to Melmetal GX. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Uh, and this, uh, this attack does 20 more damage. Alright, we need to get into play. I need, I need to get into play right now. I need to get into play right now. We are going to use our, uh, Field Blower and get rid of both of those there. I need to get into play right now. Please give me something to help. Cynthia, perfect. Uh, Field Blower... Get rid of both of those. So here's the thing. I think we let Mel Mel Metal stay out. We force him out because I need to Cynthia to get some stuff to be helpful. So I think we force Mel Metal out, and then next turn we Cynthia to get ourselves hopefully a switch, hopefully a card. We get something, but we force Mel Metal out here. So that we, they're, they're, they're going to grab energy here, I think. Because he's discarded a ton of energy. He might not have it in his hand. Yeah. Go for the energy with Sonya there. Another Rebel Clash card. So as you guys can see, Rebel Clash is full force in the tournament play. I'm going to go ahead and trade, discard probably their other metal that they just picked up. Yeah, so that way they can draw two cards. <clears throat> Interesting play there. They must have another card in their hand that will allow them to pull energy. They only have 24 cards left in their deck. We only have... 30, so it's not too much different. He's gonna go use his GX move. And it, that's why he's... Wow, that's why he's discarding it. Wow. Good. Good play. Uh, Blastoise, let's actually pull the... Pull the switch here. Pull the switch here. And we're actually gonna switch Squir Squirtle into play. Uh, and then we're gonna Cynthia. We're going to throw uh, Squirtle out there. Pull Cynthia. Ah, oh, beautiful. We actually have another switch here that we could do. So I think we actually will use our other switch here. 
And I think we'll actually switch in Suicune here to use its GX attack and then switch back with Squirtle. And then switch back with Squirtle. That's fine with me. That's that's fine with me. Because <clears throat> Suicune with 120 damage cannot can act, will, will knock him out. So he has an interesting choice to make here. So either, he either does an attack because he knows I'll kill him next turn. He heals 60 damage. I actually I won't kill him next turn then because what that that's yeah I won't kill him next turn with Suicune. That's a, that's a smart play. Who do I throw in instead then? I think because if I put Suicune in, Suicune will die. 100%. No way around it. Suicune will die. Does he have... Did he, did he, he used a support card already, yeah. So there's no chance of him forcing us out. Well, he could have a Pokemon catcher. Uh, alright. I think we have to go in with Suicune here. Because we need to get some damage onto him. I think that's really our only our only choice here. And then we'll set up Inteleon. Alright, so we'll put that onto you here. Uh, let's see what Arabelle's got for us. Cynthia? Ooh. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just Cynthia it away. Ah. Ah, this is what we, this is what we like right here. Uh, ooh, okay. 120, 140? 140 wouldn't take him out, would it? No. 140 would get him really close to taking out. So instead, we'll put the Muscle Dan onto Inteleon. Uh, oh, shh. Guys, I have a plan here. I have a plan here that might just work. I have a plan here that might just work. If he doesn't do anything to, to make my hand go away, I... Oh, and he doesn't. Oh, no, well, that's gonna be... No, my plan doesn't work anymore. So what I was planning to do here was use my Versus Seeker to get uh, Boss's Orders back, force out Zarok to do 160 damage to him, while throwing 60 damage at uh, Melmetal to kill it. But since he does that, I'll have to stay in with VMAX. But instead, I'll throw the 60 damage. Actually, I'll still throw the 60 damage onto Zorok, so that way I can one-shot him next turn with Max Bullet if he comes out with him. And if he doesn't, we'll throw the 60 damage onto Spenta. That's what I'm thinking here. That's what I'm thinking. Because we don't want to versus Seeker... And even it still like move him away because I want to be able to because we're gonna do 160, 180 damage, which will 100% knock out 180 plus 90 is 260. So he takes two cards here. He takes two cards here. You know whatever. But we take out his heavy hitter. This see this is the kind of tournament play I want right here. Like two people with like decent sets of decks. All right, we have a we have a dive ball here. We have a dive ball here. I don't know if there's anyone I actually want to pull though. Uh, you know what? Just for fun, let's pull. Let's let's. I know I know I stayed away from putting these guys last time. We'll throw them on there. But we also have some water energy in there, so we'll use the aqua patch. And we'll go ahead and put that energy onto Lapras V Max. Uh, let's see what Pidgeotto's got cooking for me. Just some just some water energy. So we'll go ahead and pull that water energy there. Uh, which is fine. Oh, because we threw it on two Inteleon. Yeah, so we're going to use our Versus Seeker here. We'll pull Cynthia back into our hand here. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and use Cynthia here. Get ourselves a decent hand set up. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We'll throw Blastoise EX up there. But there's nothing in our hand that we really want. All right. Who are we going to do 60 damage to? Pokemon Center later is actually going to come in clutch here because of what he is going to do here. And I'll show you guys. And he's going to throw one of his. He's going to throw in his Spenda, and his Spenda is going to going to confuse us. Is what he's going to do here. Uh, let's grab Rough Seas to heal ourselves even more. Get back to health there. Let's also. There's really nothing else that I want here. We'll just grab Marnie here to just reset our hand. Which we won't do it for a turn because we're going to end up using Pokemon Center Lady here because he's going to deal 30 damage to us and then confuse us. Uh, search your deck for Metal Pokemon Reveal put it into your hand. Uh, what is it? What else? If you go second... Oh, 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 If you go second and it's your first turn, search for five. So that doesn't matter anymore. So he's going to try and set this uh, Mel Metal back up. But he only has 70 HP. If you had 60 HP, I could kill. I could kill. Because he just put it out there, so he can't evolve it right now. 
Man, I should have held on to the Versus Seeker. But he can't use his GX move, so he'll have to set it back up. So we're going to throw 60 damage on, to Melt on the Melton in either way. Instead of throwing it onto Zorak, we're going to throw it onto Melton because he's going to start setting it up and we need to get some base damage onto him. Even though he will evolve it next turn. Because he just has to take out one of our Pokemon and, and he's got he's got a play here. So we're putting the energy onto you. We're Pokemon Center Ladying you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Airmel Special Energy... Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll grab Cynthia. I mean, it doesn't matter here because we're gonna, we're gonna Marnie. Oh no, we should have used Marnie! Well, no, because we needed it so we could attack. We needed it so we could attack, but if we could have Marnie there, oh my gosh, that would have been, that would have been the play. And we'll also work Lapras VMAX back to full health. So he can actually come in and, and do, do some plays if we get a lot of damage. So we're gonna go here, here. I wish our 60 damage got boosted by our muscle band as well like that'd be that'd be perfect we'll just grab water energy here he's coming with his other spend decks here which is absolutely what i would do here oh he throws the energy onto him good good i'm glad he threw the energy on him because that's less energy he can put on uh mel metal here less energy he can put on mel metal here uh Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, who are you going to throw in instead? Thanks? Thanks, I guess? What's your... What's your play there? He only has 13 cards left. Go ahead and heal it. I won't reheal the confusion. I don't, I don't truly understand his play here. Uh, that's just draw six cards. We actually need to do this anyways to get, because we're getting really low. <sighs> yeah, we'll we'll just retreat because I, I need to do damage. I need to be doing damage right now. Uh, Marnie, honestly, I I don't want to do because that puts him with four cards in his hand, and I don't want. Uh, yeah, I want to have I want to have less less cards. That's fine. So we have twelve cards. He has thirteen right now. Uh, let's actually go ahead and set up our next few cards here. Uh, just energy, energy. I oh no, actually energy retrieval. Energy retrieval's fine there. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's... Oh, no, wait, I have Pokemon Center later. I was like, no, that's not what I should have done. I should have gotten rid of his other Spinda. But I was only going to do 60 damage to it. So he's going to throw that Spinda in. And I think his only hope right now is trying to keep me... Trying to keep me down right now. Like, trying to keep me confused so he can set up. So if he throws energy onto Spinda, we're perfectly fine here. Because that means that's less energy that he's getting put onto this. So he's discarding and he's drawing two. This is a close one. This is honestly a close one right now. And he's going to draw two cards when I hit him here, and I'm fine with that, actually. I'm fine with that because that means that's two less cards in his deck. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and Pokemon Center Lady here, so that way we're unconfused and we can attack. We're going to go ahead and heal our Lapras. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Energy Retrieval. Two Energy cards. Not that we really need them. Uh, and honestly, I'm not even going to Air Melt. There's nothing I want. Alright, Mel Metal's fine, so I'm actually... Uh, who's he gonna throw in here? Who's he gonna throw in here, actually? Okay, he's gonna throw... Okay, we, we theoretically win. What's this? This Pokemon takes, uh, takes 30 less damage, so he's taking... 60, 70, 80. He's taking 150 damage. Then this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. So he's taking 150 damage. Then he's taking 120 damage. That still knocks him out, though. And then he has no weakness. He's still, ta he's still taking 120 damage, which is still enough to knock him out. And he, he doesn't have a... G oh, what's he gonna do here? Who's he gonna pull? Lissandra, probably. And he's gonna switch my cards. 
No, Pokemon Center Lady. That's actually... He's just trying to keep himself from dying here. He's just trying to keep himself from dying here. It's smart. It's a smart play. Uh... I think we just hope to kill. We don't. We don't, but we're really, really close here. Oh, I'm so afraid of what he's going to do here. He only has four cards left in his deck. Please discard and draw two. No! I think we're okay. I, I think that'll only do 300 damage. I think it only does 300 damage. We didn't die. That's fine. 150 damage? Oh, that's even better. We win. We win. Doesn't even matter who we attack. We only have one prize card left. Well, guys! When this isn't a victory of the tournament, though, we're... The next round will begin in 10 seconds. I'm like, we're just immediately gonna go into it because that took way too long. Okay. All right. So we have no we have no chance to think here. We we have no chance to breathe here. We're just immediately back in with an electric dragon psychic dark deck. Dragon being his his deck box that he's chosen. So hopefully those other typings are strictly just for setups, evolutions, but he most likely has Dragonite in there. Uh, okay, we we both we both didn't pull a basic Pokemon. That's fine with me. I hate that this is taking all my time, though. Like, why, why? Why is this taking? Why is this clock counting down my timer? Shouldn't be counting down my timer. It's he's the one who's doing it. Oh shoot! We gotta. We can immediately, theoretically, set up Inteleon V Max, assuming Inteleon V Max isn't one of our prize cards, because we got an uh, an evolution instance in our hand and three water energy in our hand. This could go really well, or really bad, depending on what their setup is. They don't... Yeah, we'll go ahead and draw two extra Pokemon. Ooh, Muscle Band 2. Ooh. But it's a tag team. And they can use their GX card, their GX move, to... What's that? Uh, no, I wanted to see their card. Uh, it's Poison and Paralyzed, and if this has four extra energy to it, put 15 damage counters onto it. Oh, shoot. Shoot. All right, uh, I don't think we can, we can't evolve yet because this is our first turn. So we're just going to attack and do 60 damage here. Start getting him set up here. Uh, he puts an energy, we put an energy. Actually, he can put eight damage counters onto us before we can take him out, which is going to be kind of, oh, no, actually, actually, because once we evolve here... Uh, we'll, our, we'll, we'll increase to 60 base damage. Then it'll be 80 damage total. That's fine. You can copycat me. That's fine. It's going to do 80 base damage and I can get rid of his, one of his energy. So I can keep him from severe poisoning me, but he can still use his GX move. So I think, I think next turn, this turn... I think we also... Perfect, I'm glad you're in here. I think we very badly want to... We're going to want to use our Pokédex here. And if there is a... There's not a nurse. Say, so if there is... If if there is a... Uh, a... Nurse Joy up front, we want it. Because this is... This can get very bad for us. Uh, I don't... I'm, a, I'm actually going to leave the energy in his hand right now. Because he doesn't have enough energy. Oh, actually, I should have gotten rid of it. Because if he, if he pulled a double energy, he could severe poison. Because I wasn't paying attention. That wasn't three. That's not three psychic energy he needs. That's just three energy. So he could do a double colorless. Why? Umbreon and Darkrai. That's really cool. Throw those out onto your hand for me, please, buddy. Uh, let me. So this is the other thing he had. Uh, this is an Ultra Beast. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard a Pokemon from your hand. If you do, you heal 60 damage. That's pretty cool. Because uh, we're going to do 60 damage to shoot it next turn. Uh, actually, no. He's starting to set up this and we're weak to electric. 
So we're actually gonna do put 60 to Oh, okay, so he's, he's setting up this guy, which is fine. We're gonna put 60 damage onto Tafakuka. Probably, oh, he's GXing, yep. I knew he was going to. I knew he was going to. Absolutely knew he was going to, too. That blows. Oh my gosh, that blows. That blows so much. That blows so much. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. He's still not going to do a lot of damage to us. We're poisoned here. And he's discards an energy from us. Okay. 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 We're okay here. We're okay here. I'm going to keep taking some poison damage. I'm not going to give him that, ener that energy card back. We're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna take the poison here. Cause I have to make a play. And I don't wanna delay my turn, because he's getting too set up up here. Because he's about to come in here. He's gonna take me out. He's 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 taking me out next turn. That's what's happening right now. And it's really sad that that's we're about to lose this tournament. We're hundred percent losing this tournament right now. I can't even, like, I'm just hoping... We, rough Seas is okay, but it also heals him, so it's not really okay. Oh, okay, okay. We got a chance here. He just... Actually, that's double energy, isn't it? That's double dragon energy. So he does 180 damage to us. On top of us being poisoned, it doesn't kill us, but he's ready to come in and do 200 damage. That's why I figured that's what was coming in. I figured he was going to come in and do 200 damage to us and end us. Maybe we get pretty close to being ended here. Ah, uh, oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Ah, oh, beautiful. If I throw Rough Seas out there, it also allows him to heal his Pokemon of 30 damage, and I need this guy not to heal 30 damage. So basically, I'm sacrificing my VMAX right now is what I'm doing. I'm sacrificing it in the sake of hoping that I'm able to kill. Because right now, uh, Keldeo does, uh, what, uh, 90 on top of 50, what, 140 dam 140 base damage right now with Secret of Sword. We throw another one on there. He's doing 170. He's going to go and attack here. No, he's not attacking. He's using his ability. Throw away a... Discard something and heal 60 damage. I forgot about that ability. Uh, Steven, search for a supporter card. That's fine. Okay, you're pulling that into your hand. That's, that's not fine. Uh, if we survive this hand, we don't. Because he's going to attack here. Is he getting ready to do his GX? Turn all your prize cards face up. That was just Jeff here. here. We still might lose this. I don't know if my math is right here. And I don't think it is. I don't think my math is right here. What can we get rid of here? We can get rid of this hot air balloon. That's it. Let's get rid of this hot air balloon. Just for fun. Just for fun. I don't know. We kill! Was that a tag team? That's a tag team. That's a tag team. That's a tag. <laughs> Guys, we're in the we're in the finals. <laughs> oh, that was my last turn. That was the tournament from the beginning of the episode. I was like, did they forfeit? That was the tournament from the beginning of the episode. It doesn't matter. Look at his beautiful dex box. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at... Oh, get get this out of my way. I don't care that we lost the coin flip. Look at that Molotic deck. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful there. Wow. Wow. And the cards too? Shoot. All right, we have a dive ball here. Oh, we have a dive ball here. That right there would be an electric typing. 
You know what we don't like in our water deck? Electric types. <laughs> are you gonna go ahead and attack? Because you just used do 30 more damage. Are you are you are you about to you can't attack? You can't attack. Kid, yo, no. I was like, you're not about to have some way to attack me, are you? That's fine. Uh, do we have Inteleon in here? Yeah, we do. 160 damage is not gonna do much for us in the long run, because they do he can do tag team or tag bolt and do 200 base damage there. Uh, which is gonna suck. Suck real bad. Uh, cool. Yeah, so we lost. We, guys, we lost. We're, that's it. We're, this isn't a insane comeback like we did in that last game. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, that's not what's happening here. What, what did he just do to me, though? He just, this player can't have more than four pinched Pokemon. Is that an ability? <laughs> that's a pseudo Wudo. Roadblock, your opponent can't have more than four pinched Pokemon. If they have five more binge, they have to discard. That's fine. This isn't going to be that long of a round, my dude. Like, this is... This is... Over. That right there... No, yeah, this is this is over. Hey, well played. Got a d good, good deck, my dude. You know what? Just to make this faster for you... Uh, I'm actually not. I'm actually... I was like, just to make this fast for you. Just to make this more drawn out for you. I just really want to draw this out for you, my dude. Uh, Evolution Incense. Give it to me. Give me that evolution instance just for fun. Uh, who should we do 40 damage to? Pseudo-Wudo. I want to kill one Pokemon. I want to kill one Pokemon here. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to feel like I have a chance. If he has a Switch sitting over there, we're done. Oh, he throws an energy onto him. Okay, that's fine. I figured he was going to throw a double... Like, when I saw it coming, like that split second of flight of, oh, it's double energy and he's going to retreat. Uh, so true base Pokemon reveal it into your hand. That's fine. Ooh. If oh yeah, if each any of your Pokemon. Hey, well played, my dude. Well played. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't expect to to win this. Well played. You got a really good deck. Really good setup, guys. I keep like getting excited about wanting to jump into. This is also the worst thing ever. You get on a will and you get one ticket. Okay. I keep getting excited to jump into expanded tournament play, but looky here, we did get four Rebel Clash packs. We did win four packs and 200 Pokey coins. That's not nothing. You know, that's that's not nothing here. It's 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 not. It's great. Uh, so let's actually jump in here. Let's. So this is the the fir the very first one you guys saw when this episode began. This is what we got for it. We got. 10 Poke coins, and we also got a reverse hollow Moo Moo Milk. Great. Now let's go ahead and uh, open up these four Rebel Clash packs that we got for coming in. We got second place. That's that's insane. That's absolutely insane. And now I'm like, oh man, what if the people who like watched me lose that first one terribly just didn't, didn't, didn't continue to stay for the rest of this? Uh, Shining Fingers, your Pokemon, active Pokemon is now asleep. Magic Shuck. I love Clefairy, and I just want to use him. Ooh! Another Inteleon V! Why that's exciting is I can use this one for trade. I can use this for one for trade. Because I already got one that I really like. And they both do the same thing. But I can trade that one uh, to try and get some better cards. Uh, capture Energy, as long as this card is attached to them, it provides uh, normal energy. Uh, when you attach this card to, uh, from your hand to a Pokemon, uh, search your deck for basic Pokemon. Oh, that's really cool. And then just uh, the... Uh, is this uh, Reverse Hollow? I don't know. And what we get here? Barra Scooter. Nothing too exciting there. Go ahead and open up another one here. I really, I, I want to pull uh, an, another V card or a V Max. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, we get a Reverse Hollow uh, Scun Tank here. Very nice. And what do we get here? Oon Pheasant. That... This is the same Moon Pheasant, like the same exact moves and everything from the from the theme decks. Do better. This is our last one for coming in second place. Let's see what we got here. Anything anything exciting? Uh, Reverse Hollow uh, Met Metatite. And... I saw... I, saw, I just saw Zacian at first, and I, I got like a little excited. And then this is the same exact Zacian that you can... That you get in the theme deck. So not that exciting, but we did get that Inteleon. Guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. 
Uh, be sure to come back next week. We're probably going to do another theme deck tournament. Uh, just because expanded tournaments make me want to cry. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Also, if you haven't already, checked out our Pokemon D&D coming out every Sunday at 2 p.m. EST. And come follow us on Twitch where we're currently in the process of catching every single Pokemon currently in the Pokemon games. There are 890, including Mythical Pokemon. I'm getting every Pokemon. It's amazing. It's exciting. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.